odd sort of tree this is. I think it might be an acorn. As you in the States you probably know. It's what my uncle planted ages ago, right up the start of my driveway. Uh, it's never really got going very big, but it's only a few years old, I think. It's only about five years old anyway. Uh, but not much water and whatnot. I'll show you what I've been up to here. Getting rid of this turkey. Well, actually, it was covering this entire area here that you can see where the grass looks like it's mowing. That it was uh, mowing with a steel. Uh, trying to cut off a ground level. I've just poisoned the uh, little stumps. As you can see, there's more blasted sheet metal laying around here. Uh, it's everywhere. And I was going to put it all in the wheelie bin, but I decided against it. And I'll just burn this in the winter. Instead of filling my wheelie bin up now, because I've got better things to put in there, as you would probably expect. Uh, every time I come around the corner, back from work, I'd blim and scrape the vehicle on this stuff. A lot of it's rose hip, and you'll, some of you will be in tears, but don't worry, there's so much of it here, it's ridiculous anyway. Uh, I've got more down the paddock all over the place. Um, but of course, hanging right, hanging right on the outer edge, it's a flipping African box thorn. And I chopped this down a year or so ago, but never poisoned it, and the whole lot just comes straight back again. Um, and yeah, I think I chopped it down at, oh, probably 2010 or something like that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, finally, let's hope we get rid of it properly now. Oh, I don't know if you can see this, I don't know what is going on here. Old Didim's here. Bees love the sap of a peppercorn. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, and six just flying off. All under the sap. I noticed that shortly after I cut another one with the sap. Oh, this is like a week old here. And they're all flaming going all over it. Funnily enough, we noticed the, tr uh, the sheep don't like sitting under these peppercorn trees. My father has a theory it's a smell. They just don't like the smell of the tree. But they'll sit under everything else. They'll never sit under these or even take shelter from the wind by sitting behind them. I've got a feeling this is a softwood, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty heavy all the same. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, that's the uh, magpies up in the tree up there. And you got the tail end of it. There's two of them sitting up there. The one that makes a laughing noise. They might fire up again. A lot of people who come out and settled out in this area thought the people, ghosts or spirits or whatever, were laughing at them because they're so stupid for coming way out in the middle of nowhere to try and set up sheep farms and we're going to basically get lost out here and fail. And they're so paranoid that everybody was thinking they're idiots. They thought it was some sort of a blooming ghost laughing at them, but it was just this bird. Yeah, that one's flying off. I don't think he's going to make any noise now. at his dash, I think. Sometimes they can do it over and over and over again, especially when the sun's going down. Well, I really need to get out my trimmers and trim some grass around this. And I don't know why this isn't showing, because I've got an incandescent light on it. I've got the giant three ring burner out. She's an absolute whopper. Uh, trying to hurry up the boiling of this aluminium pot of water because doing it on my kitchen stove is just useless. The BTUs just are not there. Um, and I have <laughs> a bit of wind stuffing the flame up right about now. Um, but there's a lot of grass. And I have a... The lops I've got has got a... Uh, like a hedge trimmer attachment. So I'm going to have to go stupid around the grass here for a bit more safety 
Um, but this is a test run to see how it goes, and it's not going so great with the wind blowing it. But having said that, um, I may be able to use this in my bathroom, provided I have enough ventilation. Uh, this is absolutely monstrous. She's probably eight inches wide, this flipping thing, so... I think you can see all three rings there. I mean, this is serious. I think these... There's one that's better than this that will boil a litre um, of water every minute. So if you give it 20 litres, it'll boil it in 20 minutes, 10 litres, it'll boil it in 10 minutes, and so on. Uh, but this one isn't quite that big, but this is what I bought initially for the backup shower and uh, Well, it's really got no use until Just one test run and then well this So it's been sitting there doing nothing for the last two or three years and well, I may have found a use for it uh, I've currently got it running on a little nine kilo or 20 pound bottle uh, but I'll run off my big bottles in the future because I haven't mentioned this until now. The Coleman decided to bloody die last night. It just will not bring gas through. It was as cold as shit, and then I gave the side a thump, and then it gas went out, and it tried to reignite and turn it on and off a few times, and each time it tried to ignite the gas and just would not fire up. So <sighs> don't bother buying a Coleman hot water on demand. They're just a bloody drain electronic sensors and bullshit and there's serious design flaws in it with all the inherent features of Chinese quality that come with it as well um, and it all runs on six volt batteries so it's pretty hard to do hacks because <laughs> it's not running on 12 volts um, but yeah anyway looks like this is what we'll be doing the rest of summer um, unless we play around with some sort of a solar thing, but I think this is near enough and good enough and pretty straightforward to be honest, so I'll just keep doing it like this. Well, there we go. Here's the final solution of the hot water system was just to clean out the area around uh, the wood stove here and uh, bring the bottle in and off we go. By hell is it a burner. Look at that, I mean, that's 26 centimetre pot, that's... Oh... 10 inches and 3 eighths or something like that. And it's big. And, uh... Yeah, not a problem running it at all. It's only been going for a few seconds and I can see the heat waves coming through the uh, pot there and I'm just uh, trying to get some water to boil so I can do the dishes uh, while leaving my other stove free to uh, boil some eggs which I better go ahead and put on but later on I'll be using this on the hot water system when I was using that side it kept flames going everywhere and almost got blown out and this is acting pretty good at the moment now because there's more or less no wind in here, obviously, but outside, holy smoke, we're back to blooming 100 k an hour winds and all that again. <sighs> I'm glad I've got enough trees around this place to provide a bit of cover for this house, I'll tell you what. It's rough old winds out there. As I was coming home, I saw everybody else putting out their willy bins and the flipping things were knocked over and stuff going everywhere. I've waited two weeks to put out a recycling bin that's come all weekend. And then what happens now when I've got the final chance to put it out? Fly on again. Okay, people. Just having a bit of breakfast here. I uh, just wanted to say little miss has got herself a part-time job. I am very happy for her with that. Now she's going to have a little bit of money to rub together. It's not a great deal of hours and whatnot, um, you know, but in the economy we're in now, something is far better than nothing. She's still looking for full-time work, but hey, it's great that she's got something and we're planning to meet soon. Um, yeah.
So I do realise I haven't been putting up some terribly interesting videos. Um, I still have a whole stack from the Steam Rally. I still have a whole stack of production under limited means, which many people weren't that interested anyway, but I'm going to put it up anyway. Um, and I'll try and get those up in a couple of... Oh, I don't think there's many other ones that fall out of that those two categories. Oh, there's a few on my other phone, yeah, that I'll put up that have some that are quite old done last year actually. Um, and so there's another eight or so of those. So I'll try getting some of those up. Um, so you've got something to watch other than me playing with fences and crap. Um, yeah. Alrighty peoples, well this is the top half of the IBC and there's the bottom half with me chocolate mint lettuce, uh, chocolate <laughs> mint, mint, um, here's little Mr. Lettuce, I thought this was silver beet, it turns out it's actually coriander, uh, I'll see if I can get in nice and close there, yeah, sometimes this camera actually works alright, but here's a big surprise, the other spring onions I got are about an inch tall, and at about the 15 day mark, it's, they're supposed to come up in about two weeks, what do you know, bingo, bingo, let's go over here, there's a whole string of them, bump, 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 anyway you get the general idea, there's a lot of spring onions in this, and uh, yeah, I drew a little holes in the corner here, as I did with this one, to let any uh, possible water build-up seep out. And we've had a reasonable amount of rain, not a great heap, but more than I expected. Probably at least five mil or so, like about a, oh, what, a quarter inch? What do you know? It's just like going to start raining right now. So I think I showed you... Mr. Lemon Scented Verbena. I really neglected it to be honest, the old Lemon Scented Verbena. Look how it come out. Fantastic. It only had about three or four tiny little leaves like that that were alive and the whole thing sprung back to life. Got a bit of a blast because it was a bit too close to the flipping edge of the roof. Blew out a bit of potting mix so I had to move it back but anyway as you can see the rain's starting to come down so I better get inside.